Hi guys and welcome back to my latest video. So uh, today I want to talk about how to write solid nursing papers, some tips that I have. I am a sponsored FlexPath student at Capella University and so I have been working on my MSN which includes writing a lot of papers and so I have kind of formulated some tips throughout getting my BSN and now especially doing my MSN to help me write papers quicker, easier, and also better quality. So my first recommendation is to create yourself an APA template or whatever, um, what's it called? Or whatever like citing um, type that you're having to do. I'm trying to think of the actual word for it. But you know there's APA and MLA and most um, nursing schools require APA but I can't speak for all of them. At least the ones that I've done are APA. So create yourself a template document where you set up the format like with your title page and just leave things blank but that way when you're writing your papers you can duplicate that document and then just fill in really quick like your title your name the the headings and the reference list all of that is kind of already preset so not you're not having to set up a new APA format paper every single time with putting in the page numbers and putting in the headings and all of those things that can easily be done with just having like a set document that you've already created for yourself so take that time do it now so then you'll have it for the rest of the papers that you're going to be writing. My next tip is to look at the grading rubric or the scoring guide or whatever um, you're going to be graded off of and use that to create yourself kind of like a template flow of your paper. So for example, if there's maybe like six components that you're going to be graded on or six objectives that need to be included, kind of format your paper out at the beginning so that you have a layout for you to go off of. So for example, if your first grading criteria is to identify a population that is underprivileged and explain the demographics of this population, then I would start off by first having like a section for my introduction and then I would write a heading for maybe like background or demographics or some kind of key word and then I would paste that portion of the rubric underneath that so I know exactly what I need to write about and include and I would set that all up before I even start writing my paper so that way I have my rubric in my paper and as I complete sections and type things I will delete it once it's completed move on to the next section so that way I'm not missing any key points everything is easily included in the paper. My next tip is to not edit your paper right when you finish writing it unless like it's due in an hour then obviously you have to do what you have to do but my recommendation is to give yourself a day or two or at minimum a couple of hours leave your paper come back and then read your paper out loud as you edit it. You are going to catch more mistakes by reading your paper out loud than you would if you read it in your head because your head, when you're reading it in your head, you automatically fix certain things and skip over certain things. Reading it out loud, you're gonna catch those mistakes and also your mind is not going to be so numb from finishing writing your paper and you're gonna have like this refreshed look on it. And I would even recommend doing that more than one time if possible before actually submitting your paper. So those are my couple of tips for writing solid nursing papers. I hope they help. If you have any other tips, leave them down below. Check out Capella University's links in the description box below as well. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.